Hello everybody and welcome to this brief update another week trading with my hedging method that then at the end resolved in this expert advisor which com computates through formulas uh, the behavior of the eight major currencies that are involved in the market in the forex market and let's brief just have a look to what we are as you can see we are having already some trades done and some trades in in movement uh, this week uh, there was this behavior of the pound which I identified in these values we can see the monthly here uh, let me do this little trick okay it should move okay so you can see we have a negative value of the GBP and also but I got very late so I tried to make some trades with the New Zealand dollar but it was already done so I also decided to close but I focused myself on the GBP against the yen as the weakest and the strong at least this in the monthly uh, time frame uh, and um, also developing in a weekly and in a, a daily time frame of course I observe all the time frames and I see uh, when there are some significant turning points in the lower time frames that are going along with uh, with the major ones okay so we always have we always have to keep in mind <coughs> about observing the larger time frames and understand when the lower time frames are coherent with the bigger ones so actually i decided to trade only the gpp japanese yen as a main currency uh, we can see the statement that I realized at this moment and I attempted also some trades with a beginning of CAD as you can see there is a swap here so I was doing some swing trading uh, and also some previous GBP Japanese yen that has also retraced but at the end has confirmed the, the strength of Japanese yen correlated with the uh, weakness of the pound I was also laid with the US dollar uh, and US dollar anyway got some strength along these days so I decided better to close my position even with a bit of negative and focus also on um, New Zealand dollar quite weak as I told you New Zealand dollar was already moving too much I attempted a little trade with euro uh, buying euro and selling New Zealand dollar and also against the yen but there was not that much correlation so these were the minors trade that I attempted anyway to do for example Swiss franc was at the beginning uh, quite negative as well as GBP so I could have traded the same way the GBP Japanese yen with a bit of success okay but the main trade that is still going on is the GBP Japanese yen uh, in cell so GBP weak and Japanese yen strong and as usual this is a weekly statement and uh, let's do now uh, a vision also of the GBP Japanese yen which is the currency that currency that I'm trading and as you can see I was capable around this hour at 8.30 <coughs> sorry to inject a trade at the very beginning of the London session therefore the result was all this big move 140 pips 
let's see a little bit in detail now it's developing the algorithm but that was a very nice positioning okay uh, not all the times it happens but it happens especially when you are <coughs> observing uh, uh, the development of a weakness and strength of a currency and you're still on a sideways phase instead of a big movement that has already happened which is the case of the New Zealand dollar that I was late so I focused myself on this currency pair only so GBP Yen uh, I can finally also close at least one trade and uh, just to give you an idea of uh, how it's developing further okay and this is the enhancement of my trade tomorrow is Friday so let's be careful as usual and um, if you're curious about the methodology and how to use the algorithm along with forecastings and the outlook for the trades that you want to that you want to project with your uh, with your broker indeed uh, by having only eight currencies to observe and filtering to two you have just one currency pair at least that you can trade and then observe the behavior of euro and dollar in uh, the main time frames and understand if there is any kind of coherence so let's see for example that in the longer time frames euro is stronger than dollar but in the shorter ones there is a kind of unbalance not in all the time frames there is this situation so we have to be careful uh, what else uh, nothing but the same thing I think that the enhancement that I am developing you know the very last one that you saw in my very two previous videos of projecting the fair price and the range of movement let's see that in the euro dollar in, in the five minutes can give a rough idea on how the price is moving and where are the support resistance level the most uh, probable uh, support and resistance level and here we are observing euro dollar and let's see also in the GBP Japanese yen which is the currencies that are currency that I'm trading I like to project this with euro dollar in every time frame but then at the same time study the currency that I am trading and anyway this kind of result is quite significant to see okay so in this side sideways uh, ranging phase there was already at a certain point a, a strong value of Japanese yen and a very weak value of GBP that now see is kind of reversing in the 30 minutes let's see in the well in, in the four hours is still some weakness of GBP and some strength of Japanese yen that's why I would like to keep it for a little bit more but somehow if nothing more happen I can also decide to close this trade and leave all the thoughts and the worries of the Friday to someone else not me so for any other explanation or further um, uh, insights of this uh, expert advisor and the theory that lays behind this expert advisor I strongly suggest you to uh, watch my previous videos and of course if you have questions you can put some questions in the comments or as usual some of you write me emails or contact me via Skype and if I have time I will be more than happy to give you some answers no problem 
I thank you for watching and for subscribing and for supporting my work and I wish you a very good evening and a very good weekend and maybe to the next video next week okay bye